Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Taurus and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Taurus. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. Should be go check that out. Going to go buy something. Really appreciate that. Currently have a sale going on for some reason. Taurus, please like some. Just... I don't know, for some reason my wrist hurt. Either way, you can find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if like, uh, yeah, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Taurus, before we get into your reading, let's start with some prayers first. So we have number 37 with the goddess Kali over here. Where is this? Okay, I just passed it. Kali, beloved wearer of the model of skulls and miracles, I bow to you. You are the way, the healing, the integrity, and the resolution. You are the blessing both in chaos and in grace. I release fear and attachment to outcome. I become free and ready to receive and be held within your divine will. I choose to trust you unconditionally. I surrender all concerns to you now. And open to receive clear alignment with the highest path for resolution and release that brings spiritual benefit to all beings. Okay. And then we have number 29 with the goddess Guanyin over here. Dearest Kuan Yin, who sees from the highest perspective and knows the truths in all situations, please help me discern the best possible choices available to me. Bless me with the awareness that I need to make choices that support my deepest desires this lifetime. May my spiritual intentions be blessed and manifest. Help me see beyond illusion, beloved, into the deeper truth of matters. Sound your flute so fierce with love and compassion and clarity now. All right, Taurus, so that's the some prayers for you. Now, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. What are the messages here? Number 14 with Zeus, Divine Expansion. Number 41 with Hercules, Strength. And we have number 32 with Iris, we have Harmony. Alright, so these are the beings connecting with you, Taurus. We have Iris, we have Hercules, and we have Zeus here. So it feels like Hercules giving you strength, Iris giving you harmony here, but it feels like there's you are expanding, Taurus. Alright. Let's have a deeper look at the cards here through the book. If you don't like me reading, you're welcome to go somewhere else. I don't want to hear about it in the comments. Number 14. Zeus is the king of the gods and the lord of humankind. He is the ruler of the skies and the father of the world. His symbols are the lightning bolt, eagle, bull, and oak. He's the last born son of the Titans, Cronus and Rhea. When the mortal Samil demanded that he show her his true nature, Zeus revealed himself as pure, intense, blinding lightning, so powerful that it consumed her. As a spirit of the divine spark of life, Zeus fathered many heroes and gods. It says Zeus represents the divine spark of life. He holds a limitless, limitless space of the heavens within his realm. This is a time of great expansion for you. A new spark of divine or divinity has been planted in your life. And as this seed grows, so too, so too blah, does your consciousness undergo a deep transformation and expansion. This may be a good time for you to write or record ideas. The lightning bolt represents awakenings, realizations, and personal epiphanies. And these can be both joyous and terrifying. As a shift consciousness, always requires you to let go of an old way of thinking although your old patterns are now outdated and restrictive they have also become comfortable and it takes courage to let them go and allow yourself to expand lightning touched you and awakened you to fulfill your potential this is an inspired time when anything is possible you're shaking off your old unnecessary patterns and retaining only what is true 
as you are electrified by new insights and feel a surge of energy rushing through you. The universe is guiding you to your higher goals. Trust. This is the time to live life truly empowered and awake. All right, Taurus. So number 32. Iris is the daughter of the sea god Thomas and the nymph Electra. She is Hera's personal messenger, able to travel freely through all realms, represented by the rainbow. Iris is said to provide water to the clouds. And she carries a pitcher of water from the river Styx, the river that creates the boundary between Earth and the realm of Hades. The water from the river has many magical powers. Iris uses it to make those who perjure themselves to go to sleep. Like Hermes, Iris carries a herald's wand. Like the rainbow, Iris is the link between the god and the humankind, heaven and earth. Through the unity of sun and water, she creates the full spectrum of colors and brings harmony with her wherever she goes, maintaining communication between the realms. It says, if you've drawn this card, it's a time to pay attention to your feelings. If you are experiencing conflict in your relationships, it may be time to find out why. Are you happy with your heart? Are you looking after your inner needs? Are you confident and comfortable within yourself? Do you listen to yourself and honor your word to yourself? All of these directly impact your relationships and your ability to communicate with the world around you. This is a time for restoring harmony, first to yourself, then to the world around you. This card is about harmony of the heart and the harmony that can only exist when you take care of yourself. This is a good time to write in a journal or sit in a reflective space and focus on what you are feeling and what you need at this time in order to feel nurtured and whole within yourself. This is the time to find out now find the loving space that exists within your heart and truly open yourself up to love, kindness, and generosity and forgiveness. In order to do this, you may need to take the time to feel love and kindness towards yourself. Only when you have nourished yourself can the abundance of love and joy exist within you flow out into the world. And it is only then that you will be able to create true harmony with others in a, cert in a clear and bound bah, balanced way. Alright, so number 41. Hercules is the son of Zeus, an alchemy, a mortal woman. Jealous Hera drove Hercules mad, causing him to kill his brother's children. To redeem himself, Hercules offered to serve his cousin, the king. The king set Hercules' twelve seemingly impossible tasks to accomplish. That required great strength, courage, humility, and wit to overcome. The task was supposed to be his undoing, but Hercules proved himself time and time again, accomplishing every task and acquiring magical items or knowledge with each. Upon completing all twelve tasks, Hercules was free to continue his heroic deeds throughout the land. Hercules eventually married Hebe, the daughter of Zeus and Hera. The labors of Hercules are all about self-mastery, mastery of the wild beast within so that a person may use their raw power in a wise and controlled manner. A number of Hercules' tasks involve killing or capturing wild animals. One of these animals was a Nemean lion, a creature with skin so thick that it was invulnerable to weapons. Hercules ultimately used the beast's own claws to cut through its skin and was thereby able to defeat it. After this, Hercules always wore the lion's skin as armor. So this card is about strength, focus, discipline, and wisdom. With these qualities, we can harness our own raw powers and use it to create what we want in our life. See, um, Taurus. So it's like harnessing a lot of qualities within yourself, the strength, the raw power here, the love within yourself, and then I feel like that's when you're going to expand here a lot. I feel like that's when you're going to be able to create whatever it is you want. If you find yourself feeling messy, undisciplined, erratic, or caught in any destructive or addictive ad activity, you need your need for instant gratification outweighs everything else. It's time to get organized and take every necessary action to get your life back on track. This card tells you that it's not enough to act on pure instinct. This is a time for focus, strength, self-control, and discipline. This is a time for overriding ego-driven or childlike urges that are often based on a need for pleasure and instant gratification. This is a time for establishing your personal power and learning to govern your life from a place within you that is clear and true. Do whatever is necessary now to take back 
your power in your life. This is a time for great strength. Harry Taurus sets messages for you. And the beings connecting with you. So now let's get some runes and charms for yourself. Alright, so from my perspective, we have both Taurus and Gemini. Alright, so you're obviously a Taurus here. Maybe you have Gemini placements in your chart, or you're meeting someone who is Taurus and Gemini. Alright, maybe like a Cusper, or um, just someone who has those placements. We have number 9. Alright, Taurus. So number 9 could be of significance there to you as well. We have Thoth. Is it, why is this stuck together? We have Ra, Chinese joke saying of the monkey here. We have this dragon moon, which can be a symbol of Kuan Yin over there. We have Bastet. We have this moth, which can be um, related to the moon, the night, the stars, everything, Taurus. It can also be a spiritual initiation. We have these two dragon lovers, one being fire or water or water and ice. We have the sun beetle, which connecting to, connecting with the sun, with sun god Ra being there. We have this rose. And the rose can be some for the heart chakra. We were talking about that love, the Taurus. Self love. We have changes. This is what's opening for you. That's just blank. And there's communication coming forward as well. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for our personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop. Go and go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, definitely like subscribe. Bye, guys.